he told everyone that he was an accomplished musician. That he had played with certain people and that he had played in a band. That he and his bandmates had been an opening act for a major band at the time. It wasn't until everyone was gathered together and someone handed him a guitar and told him to sing one of their songs and everyone found out rather quickly he couldn't play and he couldn't sing. Welcome to King of Kings. As we're looking at Matthew's account of the life of Christ, specifically we're still in the Sermon on the Mount, this kingdom message, where Matthew is showing Jesus' authority as he teaches and showing that he is not like others, he is the King of Kings. I shared that story because I thought of it when I saw what Jesus says in Matthew chapter 7, beginning at verse 21. Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father who is in heaven will enter. Many will say to me on that day, Lord, Lord, in your name do we not prophesy? In your name do we not cast out demons? And in your name do many miracles? And I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Now in my story, the person was exaggerating his ability. He was lying. And what Jesus is saying, that these people aren't exaggerating. I think these people have lied to themselves. They have convinced themselves that they are following God. They have convinced themselves that they are following Christ. When in reality, they aren't. Lord, didn't we do all these great things in your name? Lord, didn't we do all this? And Jesus says, I never did know you. These are some very intense and troublesome words from Jesus. The implication is that it is possible for us to think we are right, to think we are following God, and not be. Not everyone that says to me, Lord, Lord, will enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father will enter. There's the key. It's not enough just to say Jesus is my Lord. It's not enough to say that, that Jesus is my Savior. But am I living to please him? Am I living as his servant, his disciple, his slave, his child? Let's not fall into that category of those who claim to know Jesus and claim to follow but really don't. Let's be certain that we are living for God. Let's go to God in prayer. Dear God, our Father in heaven, we thank you so much for the blessings you give us. Father, we thank you for this day and we thank you for your love. Father, we thank you that we can be forgiven in Christ through his blood. And Father, help us not just to claim to be followers, but to be followers. To look to your word and to do what you tell us to do and to be who you tell us to be. Father, when we slip up and we do, thank you for forgiveness in Christ. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you again for joining me. I don't want to leave you with this feeling of, of I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. And that's not what Jesus is saying. And we'll see more about that tomorrow. Until we're together tomorrow, my prayer is, as always, that God will bless your day.